And then we have Dave Schlegel, number 10. He was league honorable mention quarterback that year in 1973. So give it up for Dave. So we're honoring these gentlemen for 50 years ago. They played out here on this field with the graduating class. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks for being here tonight. And thanks for keeping football alive in this hometown of Banks. So tonight, our home. So let's meet the opponents. So starting defense for the North Marion Huskies. Number one, Reese Hartenstein. Number two, Elijah Short, running back. Number seven, Lucas Fowler, wide receiver. Number 11, Evan Hopper, wide receiver. Number 14, Landon Fowler, quarterback. Number 17, Cade Hardenstein, wide receiver. Number 54, Evan Elian Guerrero, O-line. And number 71, Gordon Jr. Vesquez, O-line. So give it up for your North Marion Huskies. Now for the starters for your Banks Braves. Your starting defense for your Banks Braves, number two, Braden Bigsby. Number three, Max Walker, linebacker. Number six, Lane Gilbert. Number eight, Diesel Shuggy. Number 10, Caesar Dominguez. And number 15, Wyatt Jackson. Number 44, Ashton Crossan. Number 63, and number 64, Cole Wilson. And our last starter for tonight will be number 75, Corbin Clapshaw. So give it up for your Banks Braves starters for tonight. I guess I could talk about this. So a quick announcement before we start with our national anthem, once the teams get on the field tonight, the Banks Band Booster are doing a fundraiser tonight. Um, what's football without the high school band, right? We're grateful to have them back this year. It's great to hear them out here. So the Banks, they became a Banks High School Band Booster today. 2023 pins are now for sale for $20. Please see a member of the band for more details to help support our band. Here comes our Banks Braves. All right, we're going to do the starting lineup again <laughs> because we love talking about our boys. All, all right, so number two for our Banks Braves, starter number two, Braden Bigsby. Number three, Max Walker. Number six, Lane Gilbert. Number 10, Cesar Dominguez. Number 12, Braden X-Line. 
Number 15, Wyatt Jackson. Number 44, Ashton Crossan. Number 63, Luke Bigsby. Number 64, Cole Wilson. And our last starter for tonight is number 75, Corbin Clapshaw. Give it up for your Banks Braves. So we have a special treat tonight for our national anthem. We have Jaden Vantham here with us tonight, and she will be the, singing the national anthem for us. So please rise, take off your hats for our national anthem. Our Banks Braves are 4-0 this season. That's right, give it up for those boys. And it's Astoria, Tillamook, Rainier, and YC. Banks won the toss, North, deferred to North Marion. North Marion will receive starting our first quarter. While we're getting ready for the kickoff, we'd just like to recognize our great sponsors for Banks football that are, signs are out here on the track. We always encourage those of you to, who support the football program to please support these businesses who help our community and help the football program grow. We appreciate their contribution to the program. We got number 21 for Banks, Krista Medina, to kick off for us tonight. What numbers are back to receive? We got number seven, Lucas Fowler. Number five, Jaden Nanez, to receive for the Huskies.
Ball away. Braden right next line on the tackle. Huskies will start their drive. About the 26 yard line. Lane Gilbert with the tackle. Gain of a few on the play. Second down and about seven. Pass incomplete. Tempted for number 11, Evan Hopper of the Huskies. Brings us to third down. Max Walker with a great stop. Pass was complete to number seven, Lucas Fowler of the Huskies. Loss of a couple on the play that brings us to fourth down. Lane Gilbert back to receive. Just in case the audience is wondering what Peter means, that means we don't want the Banks boys to touch that ball. Braves will take over. and start their drive in Huskies territory. Yes. Okay. Run up the middle by Ashton Crossan. Gain of about six on the play. Picked off by number one, Reese Hardenstein, but there is a penalty marker on the field. So this one could be coming back. Penalty 
penalties on the Huskies, so the ball will be coming back. Or maybe not. Looks like we had a personal foul against Huskies, which brought back the ball a few yards. But still first and 10 for the Huskies on the Banks 25. Gain of a couple on the play, about four. Brought down by a host of Banks Braves. Pass incomplete. Was that, was that number 11? Looks like it. Who grounding. That? Who was that? Grounding. Talk about it. Third and about seven for the Huskies. Quarterback keep. Quarterback brought down by number 44, Ashton Crossan. Oh, sorry, 64, Cole Wilson. We got fourth down and six for the Huskies. Pass is incomplete. So we have a turnover on downs. Banks Braves will take over. Big stop by the defense. The Braves will have a first and 10 at their own 20. Number three, Max Walker for the catch and yards after the play. That is enough for a Banks Braves first down. Ball carried by number six, Lane G Gilbert of the Braves. Gain of about eight on the play. Brings us to second down. About a yard and a half. Who's that? That's number two? Number three. Number three. 
That's Max Walker on the catch. And with yards after the catch is good enough for a Banks Braves first down. So we'll have first and 10 in Huskies territory. Carry by Ashton Crossan. About a 45 run for Ashton on that carry. First and goal, Banks Braves. Ashton Crossan with the touchdown. So Tegan will try for the point after. She's one of our star soccer players and wrestlers. Point after is good. So with 537 left in the first quarter, your Banks Braves seven and the Huskies zero. Lucas Fowler and Jaden Nenez back to receive for the Huskies. Got a little discussion down here with the coach and the refs. Ball will be kicked off by Christian Medina of the Braves. Got a little discussion on the sideline of the Huskies with the ref. And as soon as that's done, we'll get ready to go here. Looks like we're ready to play. Penalty on the field. Might 
Might have had a false start on the Braves. We'll see. One of the Braves crossed the line just a little too early before the ball was kicked, so we'll have to re-kick. Pass incomplete. Quarterback was hurried by three or four of the Braves. Got rid of it just in time. That'll bring us to third down. Passing complete. Attempted for number two, Elijah Short. Brings us to fourth down. They got nine yards to go, so looks like they're going to opt to punt. Number six, Lane Gilbert, back to receive for their Braves. Ball was down by the Huskies. The Banks Braves 33 yard line. It'll be first and 10 Braves. Great run by number 44, Ashton Crossan. Gain of about 15 on that carry will bring, give the Braves enough for a first down. Great block by Parker Littlejohn on that carry.
Great carry by number six, Lane Gilbert. But we have a penalty marker on the field. We got a block in the back called on the Braves. So this one will be coming back a few. Tax on 10 yards for the Braves, but we repeat first down. So Bank Bra Banks Braves with a f first and 20. Pass incomplete to number three, Max Walker. Brings a second down for the Braves. Screen play to Ashton Crossan. They gain about 15 on that play. Got, looks like we'll give us a third down and about five yards to go for a first. Pass complete to number three, Max Walker of the Braves. But lost a couple on that play. Great stop by the Huskies. That'll bring fourth down for the Braves. The Huskies, 46, 48. And the Braves will go for it on fourth down. Pass complete to Parker Littlejohn. Tiptoed to keep that in bounds. Great job, Parker. First down, Braves. Run up the middle by Ashton Crossan. Gain of about six on the play. Correction, gain of about eight on the play. Second down about a yard for the Braves.
Another run up the middle for Ashton Crossan. Gain of about 10 on the play, enough for a Banks Braves first down. The first and 10, not qu close enough quite for first and goal. Ashton Crossan up the middle. Touchdown, Braves. Now the for the point after. Tegan again for the point after. Not only does she play football, but she's also the starter goalie for the girls' soccer team. Ball's up and good. With one minute, 17 seconds left in the first quarter, your Banks Braves 14 and the Huskies 0. Just a reminder to support our Banks High School Band. They're doing a special booster fundraiser today for 2023 pins are for sale for $20. So please see a member of our band for details how you can support them and their program. We love having our band back this year. Kristen Medina with the kick. Number seven, Lucas Fowler with the catch. Justin Walters on the stop for the Braves. Run up the middle, loss of about four on the play, brought down by three of the Banks Braves. Looks like we have time for about one more play before the quarter. Intercepted by Braden Next Line, number 12. He's knocked out of bounds. About the 35. Looks like there's a penalty on the play against the Braves. Another block in the back.
So the penalty was after the interception. So it's still the Braves ball with 10 seconds left in the quarter. Ball is caught by number two, Braden Bigsby. Gain of about nine on the play. And he was able to get out of bounds, which stops the clock. So we will have time for one more play. Pass is complete to number three, Max Walker. Enough for a Braves first down. But that brings us to the end of our first quarter. Your Banks Braves, 14. And the Huskies, zero. Just a reminder that we have concessions open tonight. There's some hot burgers down there. Go find yourself something cold to drink and something good to eat. As well, we have spirit wear for sale. Some great new gear down there. Go check it out. Some great new hats, sweatshirts for sale for the football program, as well as grad night. Grad night has popcorn for sale down there, kettle corn, as well as some fun apparel. So our Braves have a first down in Huskies territory. First and 10 at the 28. Penalty marker on the play. We have encroachment on the defense. So that'll bring the ball up five yards for the Braves. First down and five to go. Number six, Lane Gilbert with the catch. Touchdown, Braves. That ball was on the money. Great throw by our quarterback. Now for the point after. Balls away. Point is good. Just a few seconds into the second quarter, your Banks Braves 21. And your Huskies, zero.
Again, back to kick for the Braves, number 21, Christian Medina. We have Lucas Fowler and Jaden Neves back to receive for the Huskies. Number five taken down by number eight of the Braves, Diesel Shuggy. Huskies will take over at their own 35. Big stop by number 63, Luke Bigsby. Catching the Huskies in the backfield for a loss of about three on that play. Bring us to second down and about 13 for the Huskies. Pass complete to number 17, Cade Henserstein of the Huskies. With a gain of about eight on the play, brings us to third down. Got third and about five for the Huskies. Pass incomplete to number 11 of the Huskies, Evan Hopper. Brings the Huskies to fourth down. So we got number six, Lane Gilbert, back to receive for the Braves. Daryl Texta back to kick for the Huskies. A little bit of a juggle on that. Looks like the Braves may have gotten it back. Maybe not. The official is signaling that it is still Braves ball. That was a close one. So Braves will take over. First and 10 at about their 13. Pass incomplete to number three, Max Walker. 
almost picked off by the Huskies. That'll be sinking down for your Braves in 10. Lane with the reception, number six, Lane, with the reception for the Banks Braves. Gain of about eight on the play. Brings our Braves to third down. Third and about 13 for our Braves. Pass attempted for number two, Braden Bigsby. Looks like we may have a pass interference penalty called on the Huskies. So in high school, it is not the spot of the penalty for pass interference. It's a 15-yard penalty, which will give your Braves a first down. So first and 10 at the Braves' 44-yard line. Nice carry by number six, Lane Gilbert. Pick up of about eight on that play. Brings us to second down. Ashton Cross and with the carry up the middle. Enough for a Banks Braves first down. Braves and Huskies territory. First and 10 to 44. Nice run for the Braves. Number 24, Justin Walters on the carry. Gain of about 12 on that play. Enough for another Braves first down.
Ball complete to number three, Max Walker. For a gain of about eight on the play. Second down and about three for your Braves. A little fumble on the handoff. Kate Long was able to recover. Lost of a couple on the play. We'll bring your Braves to third down. Number 44, Ashton Cross, and on the carry. Enough for another Banks Braves first down. So first and 10 for your Braves at the Huskies 20. Pass is complete to Braden Bigsby, number two. But he tried to tiptoe it in, but the ref called it out of bounds. So no score for your Braves. Great catch, great attempt. That brings your Braves to second down and 10. At the Huskies, 20. Ball is picked off by number 20, Preston Scott of the Huskies. But we do have a penalty marker on the play. It's called on the Braves. Penalty is declined. So the Huskies will take over first and 10 at the 10 yard line. Just a little over three minutes left in the second quarter. Penalty marker down on the play. We need to have the princesses and their parents make sure they're heading towards the golf carts on the south end of the wrestling building. Thank you. We got our home homecoming court at halftime. This year will be a little different. The princesses will be in golf carts this year, thanks to our new track, our beautiful new red track we got here. All right, penalty was on the Braves. 
It looks like roughing the passer. The Huskies will have a first and 10 at their 25. Pass is incomplete off the hands of number 11, Evan Hopper of the Huskies. Will bring us to second down. Big stop by Braves. Bigs me up the middle to stuff that play. Gain of about a yard for the Huskies. Brings us to third down. Timeout called by the Braves. It's a good time just to remind our fans about spirit wear that's for sale by both the football program and also for grad night. All the money raised for grad night goes to the senior party for our seniors this year. And for our halftime entertainment, we'll have the Banks dancers performing for us immediately after, the, or immediately starting the Halftime. And then we will have the crowning of our homecoming princess. So we got third and about nine for the Huskies. Just under three minutes to play in this quarter. Ball is caught by number 11, Evan Hopper of the Huskies. Brought down by Lane Gilbert. So Braves opted to call their second timeout as the half winds down. And again, we like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors also this year that support the football program. Arizona Tile, BCF CrossFit, Cedar Mountain Construction, Duncan Automotive, EconoFab. Remember to support these businesses, your local community, as they support the program. Ball is away. Number six, Lane Gilbert, opted to let it roll. So our Braves will take over first and 10 at about the 27 yard line. Quarterback keep by Cade Long. Looks like it's enough for a Banks Braves first down. Ryan, 
About two minutes left in the half. Banks Braves first and 10 at their 38 yard line. Oh, pass complete. Number two, Max Walker, diving catch. Looks like he might have landed on the ball and knocked the wind out of himself. Gain of about six on that catch. Brings your Braves to second down in about three, four yards. Just over a minute left in the quarter. Pass attempt for number 12. Braden X line just off his fingertips. Brings your Banks Braves to third down. With a minute 33 left. Princesses and parents, you should be. Cade Long with quarterback keep. Scramble, scrambles out of bounds to stop the clock. That brings second about seven yards for the Braves. Only three seconds left on the clock. This should be our last play of the half. Goes away and caught. Who is that? Number three? Walker. Complete to number three, Max Walker, for a Braves touchdown. Number thirty-four, Tegan, up for the point after. And the point is good. With no time remaining on the clock. That brings us to the end of our first half. Your Banks Braves 28 and the Huskies 0. Now we will turn the time over to our wonderful Banks Braves dance team for your halftime entertainment. And then we will have the crowning of our homecoming princess.
Our princesses are now entering the track. Let's make sure that we clear the track for them as they come around, everyone. I would first of all like to welcome everybody that is here tonight for our 2023 homecoming game. It has been a very, very busy week with lots of fun, lots of competition, lots of dress up days, lots of points won and lost. I would like to announce how our classes did against each other this week. In fourth place, with 975 points, the juniors. In third place, with 1,150 points, the freshmen. And with an upset this year, in third place, with 1,675 points, the seniors. And with 1,950 points, the sophomores. Right there. Our first princess tonight, our freshman princess. I would like to welcome Miss Emily Rogers. She has two brothers and one sister. She has blue eyes and likes to watch the Outer Banks. Her favorite sports are volleyball and rodeo. Her favorite food is taco salad and her favorite movie is Step Brothers. A fun fact about this princess is that she loves paddle boarding. Let's all welcome and congratulate our freshman princess, Emily Rogers. Our sophomore princess, Miss Lucy San Augustine. This princess's favorite color is orange. She likes pasta and the movie Top Gun. She has two sisters and one brother. Her hobbies include softball, equestrian, and FFA. A fun fact about this princess is that they were born in Hawaii. Kauai. Let's welcome our sophomore class princess, Lucy San Augustine. Our junior class princess, Lexi Crafton. Lexi is a big fan of the color purple and has one brother. Her favorite food is pasta. Her hobby is dancing and she has brown hair and green eyes. This princess loves the movie Pitch Perfect and the show Grey's Anatomy. A fun fact about her is that she recently took a trip to the Dominican Republic. Let's congratulate Lexi Crafton, our junior class princess. Make sure I got the right. Okay. Lena? Yeah. And let's welcome our first senior class princess, Lena Dyke. L Lena would want her puppy, her phone, and her friend Annie with her if she was stuck on a deserted island. She loves the color pink. ZT, Teen Beach Movie and Painting. This princess has brown hair and brown eyes. After high school, she plans on going into real estate. And a fun fact about this princess is that she worked on a berry harvester this summer. Let's congratulate Lena Dyke, our first senior class princess.
our second senior class princess, Miss Emily Jordan. If Emily was on a deserted island, she would bring her phone, Dutch, and boyfriend. This princess loves baby cows, chocolate, and the color teal. She has many different interests, including soccer, track, motorcycle riding, and hunting. She has dark blonde hair and brown eyes, and after graduation, she plans on studying athletic training. Let's give a warm welcome and congratulations to our second senior princess, Emily Jordan. And your third and final senior class princess, Miss Ireland Wilson. Ireland would bring her books, her friends, and a camera if she could only bring three things with her on a deserted island. She has green eyes, light brown hair, and likes the color lavender. This princess enjoys watching High School Musical and Lockwood and Company. She has many hobbies, including soccer, cross-country, track, Irish dance, robotics, reading, and photography. After graduation, she plans to major in professional writing and rhetoric. Become a publisher and writer, and a fun fact about this princess is that her birthday is Pi Day, and she knows Pi to the 75th digit. <laughs> Let's welcome our last senior class princess, Ireland Wilson. Okay, at this time, we would like to announce our 2023 homecoming queen, but I'm going to need your help. I'm going to need a little drum roll with those feet, please. Your senior class queen, Miss Emily Jordan. Congratulations, Queen L.A. Let's give one big round of applause for our whole court, please. They represent this high school very, very well. Congratulations.
So just a reminder to head on over to the concession stand, pick up something cold to drink, something hot to eat. Also, go check out the great new spirit wear for this year. Lots of great stuff over there. Some great new hat styles for 2023. Great new apparel that supports the football team and also Banks grad night. I hear the kettle corn's amazing. So go check it out. So to start our fourth and final quarter of tonight's contest, the Braves have the second down and about five to go. On the Huskies 15. Walters on the carry. Loss of a couple, but there is a face mask called against the Huskies on that play. So that should be an automatic first down for our Braves. So the Braves will have a first and goal at the Huskies' eight-yard line. Number 24, Walters on the carry. Some Huskies shooting into the backfield. Brought him down at the line of scrimmage. Or actually a loss of a couple on that play. Pass incomplete, attempted to number one, Brady Reigns. Gives Banks Braves a third down. Third and goal for your Braves. With just under 10 minutes left in the contest. Looks like we had a little bit of a miscommunication on the Braves on the toss. Recovered by the Braves. Brings fourth down for the Braves at the Huskies 23 yard line. Looks like pass it was attempted for number 10, Cesar Dominguez. So that was a fourth down for the Braves. So now it is a turnover on downs. The Huskies will take over. At their own 22 yard line.
Make that 21 yard line. I did not see that. We have a timeout on the field. First and ten for the Huskies. Number two, Elijah Short on the carry. Brought down by Creed Ferrier and Cash Medina. Mendola, sorry. Ball attempted for number 11, Evan Hopper, but dropped. They'll bring a second down for the Huskies. Second and 10. At the 43 yard line. Number 12, Gold Cox on the carry. Brought down by number 60, Gunner, Gunner Ballard, the Braves. Looks like we have a Husky down on the field. Good to see Cole Cox up and okay. Third down for the Huskies. At their 45. Third down in about eight. Pass incomplete to number 17, Cade Harderstein. Good coverage by the Braves. Fourth down for the Huskies. Looks like they're going to go for it. Pass complete to number one, Reese Harderstein. But we have a penalty on the play. Pressure 
personal foul on the Huskies. He had a first down, but because of the penalty, they're still be a oh, they're still. So with the penalty, the Huskies will have a first down at the 50-yard line. First and ten at the 50. Number two, Elijah Short on the carry for the Huskies. Brought down by a bunch of Braves. Gain of five on the play. Brings it to second down. Pass attempt, incomplete for number 11, Evan Hopper of the Huskies. That'll bring us to third down. And five, with just over four minutes left in the competition. Pass incomplete, attempt for number one, Reese Hennerstein. Number seven, Charlie Markham in coverage, almost picked off. Brings us a fourth down and five for the Huskies. Big stop for the Braves here on fourth down. Quarterback keep by number 14, London Fowler. Looks like just short of the first down. So it'll be a turnover on downs. Banks Braves will take over. First and 10. At their 40. About two and a half minutes left in the game tonight. Deshaun on the carry, number 22, Deshaun on the carry. It's pushed ahead for about eight yards on that carry. We have a timeout called by the Huskies. So your Braves will have a second down and about three to reach the first down marker.
Nate Lada, Lada now quarterbacking for the Braves. Hand off to number 22, Deshaun. Brought back in the backfield, tackle in the backfield. We have a Husky who's injured on the field. So the clock will stop. Good to see that he's up and walking off the field with a little help. Your Braves have a third down, about 11 yards after that last carry. Stafford trying to eke out a few yards on that carry. Loss of about a yard. We have a timeout called by the Huskies. With a minute and 38 seconds left in this game. Break, Banks Braves 35, the Huskies zero. Looks like Braves are going to punt. Lane Gilbert back to punt for the Braves. Number one, Reese Harderstein back to receive for the Huskies. Ball goes out of bounds about the 46 yard line. So the Huskies will take over at their own 46, first and 10. Number 28, Garrett Cooper on the tackle. On the quarterback keep of Landon Fowler of the Huskies. Brings us to second and five as the clock winds down. Ball. Complete to number 17, Cade Harderstein. The steps out of bounds, but we have a running clock, so the clock does not stop. Huge sack by number 53, Jacob Lepshot. And that is the game. Your hometown hero, Banks Braves, 35. And the Huskies, zero. Your Braves remain undefeated this season. 
Next week, the Braves will face Kennedy on their home field. That'll be number one versus number three on that contest. That'll be a great game to watch. We appreciate everybody coming out tonight for your good sportsmanship and for your support of the program. Please drive safe and responsibly as you head home tonight. Good night.